Hey guys and welcome to my channel Mathlead. Now in the last video I said that I'll make a video explaining how the formula of finding the nth term is derived. So here it is. Let's get straight to it. I've written the same expression as we saw in the previous video. So let's just do a bit of recap. To get from 1 to 3 we're adding 2 and to get from 3 to 5 we're again adding 2 and to get from 5 to 7 we're again adding 2 and the same pattern continues throughout which is what makes this an arithmetic progression so as we saw earlier the first term is represented by the letter small a and to get to the term to get and to get to the second term we add the common difference in the first term so that means the second term would be equal to a plus d and the same pattern continues so that means that the third term will be equal to a plus 2d. What I've done here is simply that I've add is simply that I've added d in the second term to get to the third term, and then the same thing will continue for the fourth term, and the same is true for the fifth term, and so on. So notice that there's a pattern here, especially with the coefficient of d. This a is consistent; the first term is consistent throughout, so there's no pattern in that. However, the coefficients of d have a very unique pattern so let's switch to a different color so the first term is a we all know that the second term however is a plus d and the third term is a plus 2d so notice the pattern here is very simple the coefficient of d is always one less than the term that we're looking for so here, if you're looking for the second term, the coefficient of d is 1. And here, since if you're looking for the third term, the coefficient of d is 2. And for the fourth term, the coefficient of d is again 1 less than the term that we're looking for. And the same is true for the fifth term. Now, if this same pattern continues, which it will, the nth term would be equal to a plus now since we're looking for the nth term, that means the coefficient of d will be 1 less than the term that we're looking for. So 1 less than n means n minus 1. And this is what the coefficient of d will be equal to. So this is how the formula for finding the nth term is derived. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you share this video with your friends. I'll see you all in the coming videos. Thank you and happy learning.